Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you again. I am Ma Xinwu, the General Secretary of CSIT, and welcome to United Radiological Technology Global Open Courses for COVID-19. The organizer is the General of China Medical Device. The core organizer is Chinese Society of Image Technology (CSIT) and International Union of Clinical Engineers. This program is exclusive sponsored by United Image Healthcare. We are also deeply grateful for their contribution and engagement. Today is the second session. Maybe we will last for 1.5 hours. Now it's the opening and welcome remark time. We invite Professor Fu Haihong to give a speech. Fu Haihong is president of CSIT from Peking Union Medical College Hospital. Dear Dr. Yadin David, dear colleagues and friends, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Haihong Fu, the president of Chinese Society of Imaging Technology. I'm from the Radiology Department of Peking Union Medical College Hospital, Beijing, China. Welcome to join in the first session of this online United Radiological Technology Global Open Courses for COVID-19. Entering the year of 2020, the sudden COVID-19 pandemic reached across the world, fighting coronavirus is becoming a common challenge facing all countries and regions in this year. At this critical time, the first online session of United Radiological Technology Global Open Courses for COVID-19 is organized by the Journal of China Medical Devices, co-organized by Chinese Society of Imaging Technology and the International Federation of Medical and Biological Engineering Clinical Engineering Division. Together with the Medical Imaging Technology Editorial Committee of the Journal of China Medical Devices. On behalf of Chinese Society of Imaging Technology, I would like to give special thanks to the excellent team from the Journal of China Medical Devices who carefully organized plan and promote these online global open courses for COVID-19. In the meantime, I would like to hundred sincerely appreciate all the lecturers, moderators who share their professional experiences and opinions against the COVID-19. I also would like to give more thanks to the support from the United Imaging Healthcare who comes from Shanghai of China. Since the epidemic of COVID-19, as the radiographers and the radiological technologists, wherever you come from, we have been working on the front line fighting with COVID-19. Radiographers and the radiological technologists were taking on an outstanding professional roles as the detectors of the novel coronavirus and the scars of the coronavirus disease COVID-19. Wherever there are coronavirus and infected patients, there are always many figures of radiographers and radiological technologists fighting with COVID-19. On this special occasion, on behalf of the Chinese Society of Imaging Technology, I would like to extend my highest respect and the most sincere sympathy to the radiographers and radiological technologists and the radiologists, and all the battle heroes who are fighting with COVID-19 all over the world. At present, we are experiencing serious global public health emergency event and the COVID-19 pandemic. What we need to do now and what societies and associations need to do now is to learn from each other and share the experiences of anti-epidemic and help each other fight with COVID-19. Today, we will share the clinical experiences 
of CT and mobile digital radiography for screening the suspected patients and evaluating the severity of COVID-19 and judging the patient's status of cured and discharge. In AIDS June next time, we will share the second session of this online global open courses for COVID-19 for the radiological technologies, the professional values and the practices for COVID-19 in China, and the expert consensus of prevention and control measures in radiology department for COVID-19, which was combined by Chinese Society of Imaging Technology and published on European Journal of Radiology. The topic also including MRI application in COVID-19 epidemic. When we have to face the reality of the possibility of long-term normalized prevention and control for COVID-19 in the future of several years, it's necessary to improve the epidemic prevention and control strategy and response measures with more precision and sciences. We wish through those serious efforts to help colleagues all over the world fighting with the COVID-19 epidemic. In one hand, our clinical work of imaging are conducted in a standardized and orderly manner. In another hand, the cross infection in the healthcare setting, especially in radiology departments, is effectively prevented and controlled. Coronavirus are the common enemy of human beings and human society. Only together, only United Radiological Technology, only United Medical Imaging, only United Mankind, we are sure we can win. Finally, I hope that all lecturers, moderators, colleagues, and participants united in this online global open courses for COVID-19 will be able to effectively deliver the spirits of professional practice, understand the essence of lectures, comment and review gained more thinking time, ensure precision application, we firmly believe that the world will win and humanity will win through the spirit of team cooperation and the spirit of mutual help. Strong China, strong world. Finally, thanks very much again for the support from experts and the Journal of China Medical Devices and the International Federation of Medical and Biomedical Engineering and the United Imaging has come. And wish all of you being here online enjoy wonderful open courses and lectures. Strong radiographers, strong radiologists, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for Professor Fu Haihong and CSIT. Now we welcome Yadin David to give us a speech. Yadin David former director of biomedical engineering department, Texas Children's Medical Center. Yadin David is also the former chairman of the International Federation of Medical and Biological Engineering Clinical Engineering Division, IFMBECED. Hi, it is my pleasure and honor to join Professor Fu Heihong on this United Radiological Technology Global Open Courses webinar that uh, he is leading. These are abnormal times for everyone, but especially for those who are involved in the healthcare system. We daily learn more about the effect of and the exposure to the coronavirus, how it is transferred, what are the symptoms, how diagnostic tools can help us detect early phase and stage of the disease and how the diagnostic kits may be validating the presence of the virus. And then we learn the treatment and hopefully we'll get into the vaccination. This rapid change mandate that we will keep us our knowledge and be part of 
uh, training webinars like the one that Professor Fu is offering here. We cannot do anything better than gain knowledge and then move around to our workspaces and apply what we just learned in the best way possible to help our patient. I'm not able to physically be with you, but it is still an honor to be part of this webinar and uh, demonstrate that an image is almost as good as being there. So virtually you're seeing me just like the medical diagnostic uh, imaging system are giving information about the body, about the system and the stage of the diseases. The application of those systems can help significantly because of the early diagnosis possibility of the disease. But it's important to safely use it, safe for the patient and safe for the operator. So things like radiation protection and infection control of both the mobile and stationary MRI, CT, and X-ray based uh, systems are significantly important. Therefore, this webinar series is going to give you the tools to comply with and apply it safely. I wish you to stay safe. I uh, am sure that this information um, uh, transfer through this webinar series would be extremely important. And I hope to see you not in the too distant future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yadin David, and International Union of Clinical Engineers. Thanks very much. Thanks.